Uh, I'm here today with uh, Mr. James Regan, who uh, runs the community church on Clarendon Road. Uh, the residents of Kemball House have recently been raising funds uh, for the community hall and also uh, holding curling competitions in there. Uh, what do you think about that, James, and how, how the residents have been supporting you? First of all, I'm very grateful that the residents of Kemble House have chosen to play the curling uh, in our church hall. We welcome everyone from the local area to come and use the hall for uh, whatever reason will bring people together. The event itself has been a great success, playing every Thursday morning. Uh, we've been playing for, I think, about, about two months now, and we hope to sort of, well, to broaden our scope, so to speak, to invite players from other associated areas to come and join a league particularly from St. Luke's in uh, Winton and from St. Andrew's churches where I've already made um, approaches. So I hope very soon our numbers will increase and that will improve, improve the enjoyment and participation of all the people who come along to the church. Thank you. You're very welcome. Now, as you can see, the ladies and gentlemen are getting ready to play a game of curling. It is thoroughly enjoyable. And it is for everyone in the community. And what we're trying to do is to get others involved so we can start having match games to encourage people to exercise and also have a social gathering. Thank you. Right, good morning, Chris. Good morning, Pat. Um, and how do you feel about how the curling games are going at this moment in time? I think everybody has fun and I think that's good. And I think people mix with each other. And I think that's good as well. And I think it's a little bit of exercise that a lot of us wouldn't have. Do you do you think that uh, it helps this, the, you know the elderly people, you know, with mixing and? Yeah, I do. I think it makes them come out of the house, and I think anybody can do it. It doesn't matter whether you're in a wheelchair, whether you can't bend down. There's some way you can do indoor curling, and I think. If people have got somewhere to go where they don't feel marginalised, I think really it's very, very good. Thank you ever so much. No problem. Thank you. Bye bye. And how are you, Mary? Are you? Would you I'm like some good. cream with your no, strawberries? I just want the strawberries. Because I was just going to tell you there was no cream. No, I'm not, I'm not fussy about the cream. I wanted a tickle of, you know, something a bit stronger on it. Oh, right. Oh, yes. I know what you mean, yes. So you've enjoyed yourself. I'm enjoying myself. And you're coming again? Yes, I'm coming again, but the next time I want to tickle on my strawberries. Okay, I'll tickle your strawberries. Good morning, Eddie. Good morning. How did you find your curling this morning? It's very likeable, isn't it? Um, and how many times have you been so far? Well, I've been bullied into it for about four or five times. Bullied into it? So you're enjoying it? I certainly am, yes. Would you encourage others to come? I certainly would, yes. You think it's a nice relaxing game? Well, I can see with everybody sitting down having cups of tea and coffee that you're really enjoying it. I certainly am, yes. Well, thank you very much for the interview. I will speak to you again soon. Bye bye. exercise sport which anyone can take part in no matter what their abilities 
um, and it's, it's very adaptive for different people, it's very inclusive sport and it's also really good fun. Thank you.